What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and I apologise if my voice sounds a little bit strange. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, but that is not important. What is important is that today I'm going to be showing you 10 of my favourite widgets for Android. As a quick side note, the launcher I'm using in this video is Action Launcher 3 and the wallpaper I'm using is from Plastexo. Also the icon pack is called Delta and I'll have links to all of those in the description. So the first widget we are going to be looking at today is Google Keep. One of the key features I love in Google Keep is the ability to use different notebooks. So I'm going to add a YouTube notebook to my home screen and I'm going to go ahead and resize it. So as you can see here, I've got two different Keep widgets for two different notebooks. These are fully scrollable, so you can view all the different notes in a notebook and you can go ahead and tap on one and it will open it up in Google Keep. If the idea of having a full widget is too much for your home screen and you want something a little bit more minimal, you can also have this quick bar. This will allow you to open up a new note. You can also quickly open up a list, a voice memo, a hand-drawn note or a photo. Next up we have the Amber Weather Widget and this is a weather widget with a little bit of style. There are a bunch of different pre-installed themes that you can use to customise it to your heart's content. If you want even more widgets, you can go ahead and click more here and you can see there are thousands and thousands of different themes that you can download and apply to your device. So for example, there is this 3D weather widget which I showed you at the start of the video. As weather widgets go, it's very easy to use in terms of applying new themes and the amount of themes on offer is just fantastic. If you don't like amber weather, another weather widget I would highly recommend is Dark Sky. As you can see, it comes with three different types of widget. The one at the bottom here is a daily summary. It'll just tell you the temperatures, give you an idea of the precipitation and a little description of what the weather is going to be doing. Above this, we have my favorite one, which is a live hour view, and this will tell you whether it's going to be raining in the next 50 minutes. This just means you can very easily see at a glance when it is going to rain in the next 60 minutes. Then at the top here, you have a full week summary and tapping any of these widgets will automatically launch you into the Dark Sky app. If you haven't tried Dark Sky, I really recommend it. It's a very good weather app if you want to know when it's going to rain or start snowing or any sort of weather event in real time. There's even a global preview which will show you how all the different weather systems are moving across the world. Next up we have Dash Clock. This is a little bit of an oldie, but it's also a classic. It was two or three years ago, the most popular widget on Android by far. It's effectively a clock widget with loads and loads of bells and whistles and you can install all these bells and whistles in the form of extensions. So you can see at the top here I've got an amber weather extension, I've got one for Flamingo which is the Twitter app I use, Calendar, Gmail and Next Alarm. If you hit this little plus button here you can go ahead and add any more um, extensions that you have installed and you can go ahead and find more extensions on the Play Store. If you go up here, you can also change the appearance of Dash Clock. You can mess around with how the clock actually looks and you can change the background transparency as well as changing the color. As you can see, you get a clock along with all your different extensions displayed next to it. I normally run it full page and that extends to have all your extensions underneath the clock. These are then interactive. So if you tap on your tweets, you can see it'll take you to Twitter. I need to clear that up. And the same if you tap to your alarm or tap to your inbox. Next up we have Evernote and the Evernote widget is one of the best designed widgets I think on Android for any sort of major application. You can choose what it is that you see within the widget so you can see your recently reviewed, your recently updated or you can go to a specific notebook. You then also have a list of quick toggles which are completely customizable. For example, you can just open a simple note, you can open your camera or Joe handwriting, you can insert a reminder, a text note, or you can implement a search or attach an attachment. And these are completely customizable. You can just decide which ones you want in your widget at any one time. There are also two themes. You've got sort of a classic green and white Evernote theme and the one that I prefer, which is a dark, slightly more minimal theme. But you get a scrollable list here of all your notes within that notebook and you can tap to go straight into Evernote. If you want something a little bit more minimal, there is also a quick file option. Again, this is fully customizable. You can choose exactly what you see in the widget. You can also decide which notebook the widget goes to and there are again two different themes. If even having a quick bar takes up too much space on your home screen, you can go ahead and add a shortcut. So I'm gonna add one which will go straight into making a simple note and it will automatically save that note in my inbox and I will go with a classic theme just for the bright green. This just gives me a direct link from my home screen to add a new note in the notebook that I allocated. Next up we have Grumpy Weather, which is exactly what the title would suggest. It's just a weather widget you can tap to view the next three days and you can tap to go back to your current day, but it gives you these great little apposite quotes about the weather. And if you go ahead and tap at the top here, 
and you get a little pop-up which tells you off for continuously checking the weather. I think it's actually a really pretty weather app and I think the humour behind it is just fantastic. It might not be fully safe for work, but if you want a weather app that has a little bit of character, then I highly suggest Grumpy Weather. Next up we have Flamingo, which is my Twitter app of choice. When you set the widget, you can go ahead and choose the background opacity, so I'm just going to go for medium and add it to my home screen. You can then resize it, which I think is the best way to use this kind of widget. As a full screen scrollable widget on your home screen, this just means you can scroll straight across and you've got full access to Twitter. At the top here is a button to compose a tweet, as well as a button which will refresh the feed. And if you interact with any of these tweets, it will open it up fully in Flamingo. And then from here, you can reply, you can retweet and all that good stuff. Next up, we have Custom Widget. And this is one of the most powerful widgets you can install on Android. This will allow you to basically add anything you want to your home screen. And there's pretty much an infinite number of themes. Once you've installed Custom Widget, you need to go ahead and install some themes and skins from the Play Store. I'm going to be doing some videos in the very near future showcasing some of my favourites. Once you've found a widget that you like, you go ahead and tap on it and you can then resize it very, very easily and quickly within the app. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller. You can then go ahead and save it and apply it to your home screen. As well as making these look pretty much any way you want, you can also go ahead and customise what happens when you touch the widget. So if you want a widget that is really, really powerful and very, very flexible, custom widget is definitely one to try out. Next up, we have the month calendar widget, and this will give you, as the name would suggest, a full month to view on your home screen. And the dots will show you if you've got anything scheduled on other days. You can tap on a day to immediately see it and you can easily swipe through with this sort of pop-up overlay. It feels more like a fully fledged app rather than just a widget and you can customise it to launch whichever calendar app you use. And the real power of month is the sheer dearth of themes. There are so, so many that you really couldn't get through all of them even if I think you were trying. The free pre-installed packs are pretty extensive. If these pre-installed themes aren't enough, you can go ahead and use in-app purchases to unlock even more. And if you do this, you will have over 100 themes. And finally on this list, we have Zupa Widget Pro. This is similar to the custom widget in that you have to download different themes and skin packs from the Play Store. It's very, very customizable. I think it's probably not quite as good as custom at the moment, but there are a lot of themes still available for Zupa that you can't find on custom. You download these themes from the Play Store or online and put them on your phone, then you can scroll through all of them within the widget. Much like with the custom widget, you can customise the size to your heart's content, and much like the custom widget, you can change what happens when you interact with it. So there you are guys, those are 10 of my favourite Android widgets for 2016. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite widgets are. Again, I apologise for my voice, I can sort of hear in my ears that I sound kind of clogged. Um, and it's not particularly pleasant, so I apologise for that. Please do comment, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. Um, recently, my subscriber base has been, for me, exploding. It's been going up just shy of like 100 people a day. Um, this is really great for me. I haven't obviously been doing a lot of content for the last couple of years. And as you guys know, I'm really trying to pick that up right now i'm trying to really improve the actual quality of these videos as well as the content and obviously the frequency so a big thanks to all of you guys who have subscribed recently and all of you guys who continue to comment and like uh, whenever i put out a video um yeah sorry for getting a bit soppy i think it must be the cold but i will see you guys in the next video peace